Well, hey everyone, what has been happening? Not a whole lot here. Um, I told you my hands were so sore from getting caught up on my temperature blanket, and, you know, like tingling and stuff. So I took a couple of days of a break from crocheting and decided to play with how I could set up the tables and I'll show you a clip here. It was kind of hard to do. I mean, I had just enough room in my living room. I had just enough room in my living room after I moved a bunch of things around. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the, like the table that I picked up at Walmart, the little four foot table, it's adjustable in height, which is the one good thing about it. The bad thing about it is you either have to have three hands or two people to set it up because you gotta press in on the little things and pull up at the same time. So that was a little tricky. And I mean, I managed to do it. I have to figure out how to do this on my own in case I don't have any help. Although help would be nice, but like putting it together, it was two hands on a leg and taking it down was two hands in my head <laughs> to try and push down at the same time as I'm pressing in on those buttons. Well, let's just watch the clip and you can see for yourself. Okay, so today I'm going to practice a layout and this is where I'm at so far. Borrowed the big six foot table. I bought the little four foot table at Walmart and it turns out you need like three hands to set it up because the legs are the legs are adjustable to three different heights and you have to push in the little pins right here on both sides and be able to pull up at the same time so you need three hands for that the wire rack i still have more um one, two, three, four, five, six. I still have seven more of the metal panels. Now I didn't put one at the bottom because what's the point? So it basically gives me one, two, three, and then one shelf at the very top to put maybe that uh, eye catcher item that's gonna draw you in. Now I was told zip ties would make this easier, but I don't have any yet. So I used the clips that came with it, these things. And well, this is just practice. So now of course I did not put the tablecloth on here because Toby, I've already had to run him off a couple of times and I just don't want cat hair all over the tablecloth. So we're gonna play without the tablecloth today. And I had to <laughs> move everything around to have the space to do this. So I'm sure I'm gonna be making a big mess. All right, so let me move on to the next step. Um, I could probably set up a tripod in here, but I don't think it's that interesting yet. So once I get a little further along, maybe I'll do that. Well, I don't know you guys, this is a lot harder to try and figure out than I thought. It's a good thing I'm starting a month early. So, I don't know. I've probably moved it all around a dozen times. My original plan of pickles, potato, and avocado, that looks like it's probably gonna be out the window. Um, my little baskets here, which this one's not organized. It has all the different kind of little pops in it. So, I'm not sure. I still need a place for my keychains. And I don't have 
Look at Toby. Look at Toby. No, Toby. Toby, no. I'm glad you won't be going to the show with me. You need to get down, dude. Get. Go on, get, get, get. As I was saying, I don't have as many tall items as I thought I did. And at first, it was like, oh, I have too much stuff for so little space. And then I said, wait a minute, we have this rack. So I brought that rack in. And this one was the one that I had purchased that was a lot smaller than I expected it to be. So it has, don't mind the mess behind it. I have just tore up this room trying to do this. This has like the birds. I don't know. I think if I had a way to take these um, bins and be able to, you know, like have something to stack them, I'm trying to hold this where you can see and I can see at the same time, you know, like, like this, I wonder if John could build me something out of PVC for that, where it wouldn't be heavy to carry and easy to uh, assemble. So, I don't know. This is way harder than I thought. I don't know if I should make any more or not. Or do I have enough? I only have three little bees right here, three little bees, and one kind of bigger bee. He's not huge. I have four big axolotls and three small axolotls, and then the two of the little baby axolotls, and one a little bigger of the baby axolotls. I have lots of pocket octos. I have quite a few stingrays. Five little whales. I think I'll do a few more whales so that my basket looks full. This one, I think, is okay to mix with the, the possums and the frogs and the bees. Um, then I have the turtles. I think I need maybe a couple that are just plain old turtles and the easy cats, a few dinos up here, two triceratops and two, not Baronosauruses anymore, but Baronosauruses. And then that big red triceratops thing. I wasn't gonna bring it, but Jenna said I should because I think that this part of it here is just a little too floppy, but somebody might love it. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? My little gnomes. I really want a way to double stack these baskets. I think that would be a big help. So I'm just going to sit back and have some lunch and stare at this for a little while. Um, again, with the space perception, there's really not a lot of room. I can see why it's been changed to 10 by 10 spaces because... That table's six foot long. I only have, I have two feet left at the end of this table. But you need to be able to get in and around. I'll have a foot and a half either behind or in front of this one. But you need a place to be. You can't like sit in the middle of your space. I'm thinking that that basket will be the misfit toy bin. And that, because it was so much smaller than I expected, I have sitting on top of a tote, 
to bring it, you know, raise it up, keep it away from all the dirt being kicked around to the bottom. This one that Jenna got me, um, there's not enough space in between the little shelves, so it makes it hard to be able to use that. Not to mention, I don't know where I would put it. So, all right, let me sit and stare at this for a little while. I don't know what I'm going to do. So not exactly what I had envisioned. I took a little bit of time and tried to look on Instagram to see how people were using those wire cubes, the shelving. And I did see a couple of interesting ways that they set it up where it didn't look so closed in. And, but that requires the zip ties. So I need to get some zip ties to check that out. And then I had a couple of other ideas of how to place the tables. Cause like I said, they're providing me with one six foot table. And I noticed that I have a lot of smaller type items and not very many bigger items. So I want to make a few more bigger items. And there's a couple of the small things that I'd like to have more of so that like I can pull stuff out. And I think where I was, I was trying to get everything out at one time and I don't have to do that. So I could thin it out a little bit but most of it's only one of everything. So oh, I have like a huge variety and not very many of them. So I'm not really sure what to do with that. So the little basket trays that I bought might be a little too big. So I was thinking maybe some smaller baskets and um, like one that's low and then another one that's deeper where they can be one in front of the other and you can still see some type of price sign. My little chalkboard with the clothespin clips that I picked up from Dollar Tree on the particular basket trays that I have, they won't work. They won't clip to it because of the type of lip that it has on it. So I have to be a little bit more selective if I decide to pick up some other baskets to use because it can't have that lip in order to be able to use those for, for pricing. So, oh, this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Especially because I don't want to spend a ton of money yet because I don't know yet if I want to continue to do markets or not. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to like it and I'm going to want to do it, but then I have to think of my car size. You know, it's got to be stuff that I can do set up on my own because odds are I'm not going to have any help. Um, how am I going to carry everything inside? Like that, well, that six foot table I borrowed, that was heavy. That or I'm just plain weak. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, there's a lot to think about. So like, if you're thinking about doing this for your first time, and I know several of you have commented in the comment section that you're actually doing your first markets in November. And it's exciting and it's scary at the same time. And there is so much to think about. Um... Bonnie had commented that she puts a um, a choking hazard tag on her her plushies, and I'm like, yeah, I need that. So I went and purchased a PDF file on Etsy from the same person that I got the little cup holder inserts from, and so you have to cut them out and punch the holes in it yourself. Now, the ideal situation, because I had everything out and everything was on the tables, well, everything except for the misfit toys, would have been a, to price everything as I was putting it away. But I couldn't find my single hole punch. 
and Jenna was at work, so I had texted her and asked her if on her way home, could she just stop at Dollar General? They have a single hole punch for $2. Could she pick one up for me? So by the time she got home from work, I had already had most of the stuff taken down, you know, because I was using my living room and I'm not the only one who lives here. And, you know, people want to watch TV and they want to sit in comfort and relax and not have to uh, climb over a table or two. And then, of course, I have to take into consideration Toby, who won't leave anything alone because he was all over it. But what I did take the time to do while I had everything out is I had my little scale out there and my little spiral notebook and a pen and I was weighing it to figure my material cost and taking a picture and entering everything into square. So everything that I had on those tables that you just saw is already in square, how many I have, what my retail price is gonna be. Now I didn't see anywhere where I could put a cost, like where it could calculate costs for me, so I don't know if it'll do that or not. But I have all that information, so I'll be able to figure it out. So then, Last night, I finally decided my hands don't hurt. I want to make something. So I broke out the compression gloves, put them on because we don't want to trigger anything. And I was able to sit there while watching a movie and make one little turtle. Well, he's not so little. He's kind of bigger. And I used the Bernat. Um, the green is olive green. It's kind of dark. Uh, when I ordered it, I didn't think it would quite be as dark, but I do like the color. And then I used the Sparkle, Burnett Sparkle for the shell. And this is the um, All From Jade pattern. Now, the only thing that I didn't do is she has you crochet the head to the shell right here to help hold it up. But I didn't do that. And I used a different, um, the different fin is, they're just easier. And I like the look of them better than her, um, her leg pattern part. But I understand she's made a modification with using these type of flippers to go along with her turtle pattern. I just happen to like her turtle pattern because I like the bigger shell. You know, it just stands out more, looks like a turtle. So, I think he turned out pretty cute. Um, but like I said, I need to work on some taller, bigger type plushies. Just a few so that I have some, you know, bigger items in there. Because most of the things were were pretty small. I was kind of surprised when I spread everything out and took a look at it. And then, you know, I made those uh, cup, co cup cozies and the washcloths, but I'm not sure space is gonna allow me to, to take those. Or I could take them and if I have space clear up, then I can add it. That's always a thought. So I need to get some zip ties and then I can try out the way I saw on Instagram that those uh, cube shelves were assembled. Because the one, the one rack where that had the long flat shelves that you saw in the, the little clip, that is actually a shoe rack that went to a closet kit that John was installing for someone and they decided not to use it. So he brought that home for me. Now we used to have a couple of those years ago and I had Jenna check out Walmart for me. They don't have this because I actually liked the look of the flat shelves without the dividers in between. It seemed like I could get more on it because it didn't have the divider. And so that was free. So that that's always, um, I actually almost forgot about it when we were setting it up and I'm like, I don't like this, I don't like this. And then, I don't know. <laughs> I, let me tell you something though. Kudos to these people to 
all you crocheting people out there that do these markets on a regular basis because this is a lot of work. It is really a lot of work. It almost, as I was sitting there doing my pricing, it made me rethink some of them that, you know, like say if I was gonna do $10, I put it at 12. Or, you know, if I was gonna do $12, it might've went to 15, just because it is a lot of work. Unbelievable. I am just like shocked, just shocked. And there's so much to think about. And, but at the same time, it's, it's a lot of fun. I mentioned that I worked in retail for 30 years. I was actually a manager for a um, several different 7-Eleven stores over the years. So 30 years of retail and dealing with the public, and then like the last mm, 10, 12 years, I've been working from home, um, not really getting out much, and yes, I'm still dealing with people, but it's on an online basis. It's not face to face. You have, you know, you get a message from somebody. So you have a little bit of time to think about your response instead of it being like a knee jerk response, you know, if that makes any sense. So it's going to be interesting to be back out there dealing face to face with people and the ones that are not very nice people, as well as the ones that are really nice people. So that's gonna, that I think that's the scariest part for me because I know what it was like to work with the public and I know how bad it can be, but I also know how good it can be. So I'm not trying to scare anybody, but, or scare myself, but you know, it's just, it's been a while. So, today is Wednesday, I think. I don't know what date it is. That's part of the problem, is like, I don't have to get Jenna up for school anymore. I don't have to leave the house to go to a nine to five. I just kind of do my own thing. So, I tend to like, what's the day? What is the date? What month are we in? I don't know. It's it's like hard to keep up with that. But I do have a few orders that I need to go and finish up. I just wanted to take a minute or two and hop on here and show you what I've been up to, which, like I said, hasn't been a whole lot. Um, but my hands do feel a lot better. I will wear my compression gloves. I know better than to sit there and do a marathon without having them on. These make a huge difference. And yeah, so I'm gonna go finish up my button orders and then I am going to look through my patterns and see what other of the taller type items I would like to make. Some of them are more fun than others. I really would like to do that crocodile one I showed you guys a while back that I totally messed up because, uh, yeah, <laughs> just the, the way you, you were changing colors and keeping track of the stitches and I kind of messed up the front of the belly, but the head turned out really cute. So maybe if I just did a solid color and didn't do the color change on the belly, I don't know. Um, but that one was really cute. The pelican, I love the pelican, so I might try a pelican in Bernat instead of um, Parfait Chunky, and then it would be even bigger. But I don't have an orange to do the beak or the feet. I do have yellow, though. Um, I do have a cow pattern that I haven't tried yet, you know, where it's like standing on its back legs. And I would think that this being a rural area, cows will be popular, making bacon's gonna be popular. I would think the chickens would be popular. And there's a lot of people out there that, like me that just like the songbirds, so the little birds should be popular. Um, 
Everybody says the axolotls are popular. They say the dinosaurs are popular, the bees. And honestly, I don't see the attraction to the bees. I don't think they're that cute. But it was funny because we were um, Saturday when we went to go to Michael's to look at their different yarns to so I could see them and feel them. On the way there, I think it was on the way there, I look in the rear view mirror and I told Jenna, look at the car behind us. And they had a big giant bee on their dashboard. So other people like them just because I don't think they're, you know, all that doesn't mean that other people don't think they're all that. So I don't know, but I, I definitely um, want to do some taller ones and test out, like get the zip ties and test out this other way of assembling these cube shelves that I spotted on Instagram. And that means pulling everything out, <laughs> trying to set up that table by myself again, um, and then redisplaying it. But when I do that, I will be putting my price tags and my um, safety warning on it while I have everything out. So. Nothing super exciting today. Sorry, guys. No cutesy patterns to show you. Just my one plushie that I made. And that's it. But you can head right over here to this video. If you need to get a plushie fix, you just head right over here to this video here. And it will show you bunches and bunches of them. And we'll see you in the next video.